Hey guys, and welcome back to Auction Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space College Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are in the Rock Full of Brains, a collection of asteroids out in the wilds of space, where we are trying to get 14 duplicates into the future as comfortably as possible. And to do that today, we are going to start trying to find out how we can get... Wait, this is not where the Arbor Trees are located. We want to try and combine the Arbor Trees, the Pips, uh, an Ethanol Distillery, and a Petroleum Generator to try and make ourselves... A a nice little closed loop system uh, to be able to do this we are going to start off over with these these tiles over here I want to build it kind of along here but I would also like to be able to get my pips these little cat like creatures over here to be able to plant the seeds for me one of the special abilities that these guys have is they can actually go around and plant seeds that are just lying on the floor so I was wondering if we have another one around somewhere because I have been trying to capture quite a few of them look we've got two of them over here right now if we could capture capture them into a little building over here they can plant on natural tiles these are the tiles that are generated by the game uh, as opposed to the tiles built by my duplicates we're going to build across here uh, I would also like to try and fill in some spaces here now this clip can only plant uh, can only plant plants? Yeah, they can only plant plants so close next to each other. I believe you need to leave a space of three in between. So I'm going to grab this granite tile here and go one, two, three. Uh, also, whilst this is being set up, I've also noticed up here, I, I, I did notice this last time, and it's something we need to address, that we've got all of this radiation coming, spilling through. Now, if we were just growing plants, that would actually be quite good. Maybe we'll move a plant growing system up here at some point, because we can mutate our plants through radiation is radiation i'm just noticing we're completely out of power here what, what's, what's going on why doesn't this have any power it should do it's all connected okay we just we just don't have the power flow at this time of day and it's picking up all of the debris on the floor so it's probably chewing through the power quite quick but i need to replace these tiles at the top here uh with something better than the granite it was, we can have a look and see that the granite only does 56 percent somewhere i have some igneous rock and that that will do 60 percent i would ideally like to put a layer of plastics in there as well but i just i don't i don't actually have the plastics to be able to do that with igneous rock over there beautiful uh, i'm just going to start by replacing this top layer here are these already igneous rock all right beautiful wonderful and amazing if we can get these replaced i'll then put in a second layer afterwards but that's gonna uh, take a little bit of a backseat to that tile there and more importantly to getting all of this built over here with the uh, the arbitrary uh, farm i don't know if i've got any other acorns around? Let's 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 have a look. Let's uh, acorn acorn. Uh, I have one somewhere. Where where are you located in this world? All the way over here. All right, beautiful, beautiful. We we can get that and we can plant that over here uh, in a not natural manner. There are two ways to grow plants in this game. You either find them laying around in the actual map, and you can see that they are planted on uh, natural tiles themselves. And these have a wild growth cycle, uh, but they require less stuff than if I was to uh, to rip up their seeds and plant them over here, where they have an additional domestic growth, where they need uh, fertilization in the case of the millwood. Let's go have a look at the, uh, the arbor tree over here. Uh, it turns out, actually, the domestic life cycle does not have have any less wants just needs uh, a whole less a whole bunch less time i actually am aware that it needs i think i think we're being gaslit here my friends it, i know it needs polluted water so um i'm not sure why it's not showing us that on the domestic growth let's close that and open it back up yep it's a bug it's a bug we, we need to report that you know what I really like? Games that give you options to, uh, to to give feedback. There we go. Report a bug in the menu. I think I think it's one of the best part, the best things a developer can ever do. It's great. It's great. I wonder if that's also on the acorn. Let's have. Oh no, there's no no information on the acorn. Is it in the uh, the the tree? Well, there, there we go. Polluted water. It's in the database, so that's fine. Dirt, polluted water, need to have a certain air pressure. I mean, all, these are all things that we can make do. Uh, and more importantly, it grows faster. That's that's the big thing there. That is the big thing there. Ah, uh, that midday power. Nom, nom, nom. Everything's up and running again. For some reason, the ladder seems to be more important to Spitzer than getting the uh, the farm done. And I'm going to... I'm going to trust his judgment at this point. I think I think he's a person who's been around long enough now. He knows the needs of the colony that he is the founder of. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to leave him at it. 
All right, I have definitely changed my mind during the course of building this. I think we're going to go for the domesticated growth most of the time. Uh, perhaps underneath we will have a natural natural um, farm on the go, but this is not going to be it. You'll also notice I've put a grooming station here, which I will return momentarily, but we need to put down a small ladder just to get to this roof tile here. In fact, we're probably going to need to put down a few ladders to get to a few roof tiles here. We'll, we'll get rid of that. Uh, that was just for uh, demonstration purposes. The arbor trees, they, they have quite a wide spread. They grow a trunk. Let's go down and have a look at this one. They grow a trunk and then they grow branches off. Then the branches are where you get some lumber from. But if any plants are too close by, it will block off some of the, uh, the growth of the branches that grow out. The branches kind of inhabit the tiles to the side here. Uh, so we need to make sure that we have enough room around each of these farm tiles to allow for uh, the, the full arbitrary to grow. Let's put this one here, grab a, a bit more granite tile across the roof beautiful. Uh, as I say, I was also going to make this a ranch because we're going to try and grow some pips in here. Grow some pips in here. We're going to try and ranch some pips in here. Get some more little babies on the go and uh, m most importantly, keep the trees. Keep the trees turning over. The trees will provide the lumber, as we say, and the lumber will then feed into this ethanol distillery. Uh, I think we're actually going to make it out of uh, aluminium rather than steel. We'll pop it over here somewhere. I'm not sure exactly, but somewhere over there. That will then produce, in fact, let's have a look at the uh, the numbers here. Uh, it will take lumber power and needs a liquid output pipe because not only does it throw out ethanol, but it also produces polluted dirt. That's good because these guys eat a lot of polluted dirt, the, uh, the poke shells up in in this corner here. Carbon dioxide, we, we could just vent that out to space, that's no problem. A bit of heat, we can chill that down. Uh, I also threw in a not, well, not oxygen detector down here. It was mostly to pump out all the chlorine. Uh, its gases go up through here. We've got a little bit of an oxygen filter here to make sure that the oxygen can stay in the base, but all the other the gases that are down here, the chlorine, the carbon dioxide, the, uh, the, the polluted oxygen even, all get pumped and uh, vented up here into the wilds of space. Space. <laughs> if you've been following progress for some time now, you might know that Pyaxlid, we've got a bit of a steam issue building up in our industrial block here. Now, the steam's only at 117 degrees, uh, but we have a lot of it. Tw 26 kilos of the stuff, in fact. Uh, it's got so bad that it wouldn't let the carbon dioxide out. I've had to turn the filter off of here, and we're just venting that, would you believe, out to space is what we what we do with things that we don't know how to deal with. Uh, but the, um, the, the, the steam definitely becoming an issue. I've just noticed that there's all this oxygen at the top here. We're going to have to try and figure out some way of dealing with that, because my plan, my plan for dealing it with it is we're going to uh, rip down uh, all of this smart batteries and leads and stuff like that that we've got around and we're going to throw up that's right a steam turbine right here uh it's not gonna work out remarkably well as the plan stands right now we're, we're definitely missing uh some gases and stuff in fact i'm going to build a layer of tiles across the bottom uh and then when we put the turbine down is not there's no one gonna finish this off curie curie doesn't want to finish this off okay well uh, when, when we've actually got all of this built uh, I'll then remove some of the tiles back and hopefully only let the steam in. There's a little bit of oxygen right here. We might just have to figure out how we live with that. So now that I've enacted the plan of putting down a steam turbine on top of my uh, my, my industrial block here, it's, it's going to work out quite well. But the problem that I've got right now is that I've got too much water. It, I don't know what to do with it. So, um... Just going to rely on the fallback plan that I do every time that we've got too much of anything. That's right, I'm going to throw it in space. What, what else would we do with it? I can't go that way. Maybe we can do this one like this. And then we turn this around and put that like that. And that, that should be a good path up and out. Of course, we are going to have to now uh, get the snip snip tools and go across this way and that way. Okay, this is, this is good. This is very good. We can come up here. I don't want to connect there, but we do want to go up and 
and to that. Okay, all right, this should now work out pretty well for us as long as everything gets put into place. Uh, we'll come back and have a look at this. Irigal, how are we doing? Uh, we still don't have these things. You know what, let's, get, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, let's, let's get these things down and in. I'm mostly interested to see if someone's going to come along and pick this up. It's, uh, it's right out in the middle of nowhere, and I don't know whether anybody actually has the ability to go underwater like that Chandra does. Okay, great, great. This is this is what we like to see. This is what we like to see. Brine and... Oh, it's, it's almost all brine down here. I thought some of it would be there. Salt water. You can almost tell the difference. Brine seems to be a lot whiter, or maybe uh, less blue, shall we say. More of a yellow colour than the salt water. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Is anybody uh, coming along? There we go to build the... Oh, it turns out the grooming station's been made out of steel. That, that That's cool. I can live with that. And uh, water weed seed back there can't be picked up like that. Okay, the plant is down, and for this to be considered in a grooming station, we uh, want the magic number to be 96, of course, and that goes all the way out here. Because we're only four, four high, we need like 24 across, uh, and uh, so we're going to have to let this pip loose. Uh, I, I was kind of trying not to, but uh, you know what? Some, sometimes that just happens. Uh, now, somewhere down here, we can't do any more arbor acorns, but I'm wondering whether we can just uproot that one. I, I feel very, very sad if this goes wrong but let, let's do it let's come along uh, let's uproot this and let's see what happens oh look it's showing now we've got fertilization and irrigation i wonder what the difference ah if you click on the mm, okay I need to go amend something. All right, all right, that 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 should be fine. And now I would ideally like to incubate this pip egg, but you know we're 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 very very close to this actually being. Let's see, seventy cycles, uh, seventy percent gives us uh, three cycles. No, gives us thirty, and at five percent each, that's six cycles. I think I think we can hold on for six cycles here, especially as we're going to have this pip. Uh, and I'm also uh, as soon as the next daytime comes around, going to wrangle up these two pips here and pop them over here as well. Uh, we've also uh, moved the, the poke shells from, from in here to the, the ranch over this side. And still, the sweepers have not cleared this whole area out. Still still waiting for it. Still waiting. It should happen eventually, as soon as the power um, applies. But we've been trying to move everything down here as well. It's just such a low priority job that none of my duplicates have been getting to it. Whilst we're setting up the arbor tree over here. Oh, there's three out here. Okay, that, that's pretty good. Uh, so we, we don't want any of these, and please auto-wrangle the surplus. If we turn that right up, will Chandra be along any moment? Okay, great. Got, got some harvesting to do. I'm all right with you taking that as the priority. I think that is fine. Okay, are we actually going to get the pips that we want, or is it all just going to be Drekos? We'll, we'll find out. We'll leave her there all day if need be. Yeah, look, it's the Dreko being wrangled. Uh, that's fine, that's fine. We'll just we'll just let the day go through, I suppose. Yeah, there's definitely uh, definitely something weird with the pip wrangling. Look, look, look at that. It's this guy here who's being wrangled. What, what, what happened there? Nothing? I, I feel very robbed. Very robbed. That, that was a whole cycle there. Alright, let's let's see if this one does any better. Okay, much better. Much, much better. This is this is what we like to see. Gonna take a little time to get them delivered over this way. No doubt. Let's have a look. No pending delivery. Now there are deliveries. Compton straight on it. I suppose he's very bored only doing the uh, the cooking over here. Okay, first pip is down. I'm going to try and pick this pip up egg and put it in this automatic dispenser here so that we can start building the floor a bit more all the way across. And that should be enough farm tiles to uh, to bring quite a lot of these pips up and uh, rolling. Uh, I, I hear one plant can support six pips, something like that. So this many plants will definitely uh, feed both our ethanol needs and the pip population. I, I, I sure do hope. I sure do hope. Oh, Pip, why would you do that? Let's move Spitzer because obviously you're now just going to get eaten up. He, he was floating on top of the tile for so long. For so, so long. And then he just sunk down. Ah, we lost one to the outside of the wall, but I think that's okay. That's all right. We'll be able to pick it up later on. Uh, the pip egg has been moved, so I will now deconstruct this. And the arbitrary, oh, growing in front of our eyes. Beautiful. So looking at the radius of the auto sweepers, what we, build, we, we can build them out of steel. That's fine. This one will reach all the way up to the, uh, the tile with the critter drop off on and this one will reach all the way to just beyond this farm tile here so if i just grow this many trees these auto sweepers should be able to harvest every well maybe not a harvest but pick up all the harvests 
Uh, that's, uh, that's, that's pretty cool. That, that's what we need. We can then use that to pass down to, let's have a look in the refinement. Wait, I've, I've lost the tab. I've lost the tab refinement. Uh, only one ethanol distiller used here. I'm going to put it... Yeah, right, right here, right here. What? Why not? Uh, this will be interacted quite a bit with our duplicate, and then maybe we could just throw down a petroleum generator next to that, and that's a nice closed loop system. It won't go down with the ladders there, unfortunately, but we'll, we'll figure that out. Of course, the petroleum generator producing polluted water, which we can feed back into the arbitraries. Is it enough to cover how much we need? I, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> And I'll tell you something else I honestly don't know how I would make it through to the future without the support of my patrons. That's right, right now I wanted to take a little moment right here and thank each and every one of them because scrolling up the screen right now you will see a list of names, a list of names of the guys and girls who have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and these people they did the most generous thing and made a monthly monetary donation to make sure that me and my channel can continue on into the future as comfortably as possible and it it really it's the least i can do to just take a little moment out of any of my videos here i just just say thank you w without you i just couldn't do this got this eerie situation where there's no sounds for the building I, do, I don't know what's happened and it really puts me off i don't i don't know if i like it i don't know if i like it but you know th things are happening around here look none of none of the duplicate noises are working oh man i don't i don't want to have to reload oh look tiny little poke shell yeah nice okay cool that that's good that's good that means that we've got tiny little uh, babies being turned over into adults what's gonna happen when we uh, we fill up i don't know we're gonna run out of uh, polluted dirt that is for sure that's uh, not before this starts producing hopefully and then we'll start getting polluted dirt out of it still waiting for the arbitrary uh let's let's have a look what are we are we are growing branches okay that's good that's good and uh, we're at 14 percent for the branches when the branches are fully grown, there is a chance that the pip will come along and uh, sniff the branch or whatever it is that pip, pips do to these branches and uh, find an acorn in there. The, the, yeah, the branches contain the acorns. Duplicates can't find them, but pips can. It's one of the main reasons I wanted to have them in here. Yeah, I'm not sure I can deal with this. Let, let, let's try a reload. Let's try a reload. Yep, yep, that that did it. Just just a quick reload did the job. Also, stole them, uh, stole all their oxygen off them. That's that's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. In fact, where is all this chlorine coming from? It must be because we're pouring it out of this door, maybe. There is also uh, where where is it? You can see it off gassing in there. There's some bleach stone. Uh, we need to. I mean, just set that to sweep, and the bleach stone should hopefully get filtered over over here this, this this is the important one let's turn this all the way up and then hopefully these are kind of down yeah oh i just saw the pipsqueak hatch uh these things are adorable they let out the smallest little mew every every now and then i'm not sure how often that's going to happen uh but yeah these these guys are great uh we get this tiny little being with us for is it five cycles i think it's five cycles uh ooh. He, he ate an arbitrary dirt. Oh man, does this mean he's uh, eating my, my, my roots, my, my branches? That that would be kind of sad if the num Yeah, I think the numbers going down. We were like 25s and stuff like that, and now we're not. I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. The wildness going down for these two whilst they are being tamed. 63 out of 100. I'm not sure if we're going to get oh 85 out of 100. I'm glad we've got a young one to uh, to get the breeding program up and running properly. These two. Yikes. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be fine. You're doing all right, Spit down there, Spitzer. Hopefully this will all work out well. Spitzer, you um, yeah, like you should really climb out of there. I know we've got. Oh, what what have you done? I know we've given you a way out this way, but I don't know whether you can follow it. Let's uh, let, let's put down some ladders here and figure out uh, a nice way for people of, of any abilities to get anywhere they need to go. Oh, somehow Spitzer did get up through this gap, but I still think these are quite important. Oh yeah, I just watched that happen. That went from 26 to 20. Okay, I mean, I think this should be okay. I think we can live with it. Uh, it would have been nice to get a few growth cycles going through first. I suppose with with these uh, advancing ages of particularly this person here, this this little pip, uh, we, we will have some time of uh, more sustained branch growth. 
All right, this arbor tree is never going to get to grow with the pip around, and uh, we we're actually wanting to get the ethanol distillery up and running. So I could come along and rip this one down, but I've decided that actually, no, we're going to get Spitzer to lead off on a little bit of an adventure tomorrow. Uh, we're going to drop down here, hopefully take most of the, uh, the water over this way with us, but I definitely want to drop down here and uh, just let all the water flow down this way to grab this arbor tree that uh, looks like it's having a bit of a bad time. That is because, of course, it's very cold down here but we'll uh we'll see if we can isolate that some it's, we're not going to be able to isolate that somehow but it's going to be it's going to be cold it's going to it's going to be very cold wait that button that button right there hmm yeah it's going to be it's going to be some cold to deal with minus 50 like very cold we're going to make some snow though that's that's almost a definite and i suppose it gives us somewhere to dump all the heat from this yeah we could we could run some pipes down there or take some material from here to there. Uh, there are various ways of moving moving heat around. So to get Spitzer interested in here, you know what I'm gonna have to do. Yep, indeed, here we go. Uh, else, he's just gonna try and do do all this. I mean, I, I suppose I could have dropped the priority here. Spitzer's not actually interested, why not? Compton's on it, well, okay, fine, fine. It, it doesn't have to be Spitzer, it just has to be some duplicates. I think maybe we can dig the side here and that will get more we, we need digging and that will get more duplicates involved quicker and then we can get access to, to various different like we can reach round the ladder to help build further down quicker yeah I think I think this might be the way Okay, we're just about to bust through here. It's a, a weird droplet that we've got on the go. Hopefully it's not going to take everything out too bad. We definitely need to continue the ladders down this way. So, something like this. Pop, pop. Uh, and then we can come and uproot this tree, which is also very, very important. And we're making ice. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, look, we're all the way down. There's a little patch of, uh, of hot stuff down here as well. We've got chlorine, frozen chlorine. Oh, actually, all the uh, all the carbon dioxide and chlorine that's now going to wash its way down here. Going to end up being frozen at minus, like, 60, something like that. That's uh, that's cool. Carbon dioxide gas. I mean, that. yeah, that's very cool if you uh, catch my drift. <laughs> Okay, Hubble's gonna uproot the plant, and we should already have the uh, the next delivery put in place, the order to get this planted. Uh, we need this desperately so that our pips don't eat our entire harvest. Okay, that that that's cool. That's cool. We got an arbor acorn here. Let's um, let's make sure that that comes up and gets put away. Uh, anybody on the errand? Uh, Chandra in a little bit. Let's see what she's doing. That's so important right now. Uh, farming supply, the polluted water for for the arbor acorns. Yeah, indeed. We'll we'll let that happen. I'm I'm sure it's very very important. Oh man, it took almost a full cycle, but Chandra actually went and got it. Beautiful. This should now just need a little bit of tending, a little bit of love and care, uh, and it should grow a mighty tree like this one. There we go. It's getting it from the uh, the pip excretion, no less, the uh, fertilization there. That's beautiful. Then we just need a little bit of polluted water that we're currently getting from our wash basins. I'm sure at some point we will run out, uh, but today is not that day. So whilst I've been distracted, this arbor tree has got to 66% on its uh, branches. This means that it can actually support this many pips and continue growing. But what have I been distracted by? Getting this manual kickstart up and running. Uh, I want to get the ethanol distiller up and running, even though we don't have any of the uh, the arbor trees fully grown yet, because they are going to be fully grown soon. And we've also got bunches of of lumber just 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 lying around. So let let's try and make use of those. I've got a storage bin here in the industrial ingredients we've got lumber i'm gonna pop that down and hopefully people will just come and deliver oh it's pretty pretty low priority how about if we just turn that up still pretty low priority uh i'm i'm just gonna ask for people to come and make some deliveries like right now oh they're even pulling lumber out of the other storage bins to fill this one up i'm i'm happy with this i am fine for this to exist thankfully other people are going around other duplicates are going around and picking up larger lumber stores elsewhere Okay, I set the uh, priority to the manual generator up to nine and about halfway through the day, not even that, a quarter of the way through the day, Compton came along to power up this battery. Uh, I then assume someone's going to come along later on and uh, put a bunch of lumber into the ethanol distillery. 
Uh, why? What was? What's this? No liquid output on the uh, on the pipes in the background. That's fine. Uh, when this petroleum generator indeed goes ahead and makes some power. So what, what's going to happen? Let's let's talk this through. We got we got power going into uh, the battery, which will power the ethanol distillery. The ethanol distillery will then, would you believe it, make a bunch of ethanol, which will be piped along to the petroleum generator. The petroleum generator will turn that into power, carbon dioxide, and polluted water. The polluted water falls down, gets pumped up into this skimming system, uh, and when that overflows up into the uh, the feeding of the arbor trees up here, which then produces wood, feeds back in. Beautiful cyclical system. I hope the carbon skimmer can keep up with the carbon dioxide output. Yeah, I think everything should be fine as long as someone, anybody, can come up. Should we just do this? Like, let's get someone on it. Uh, like, Compton, no doubt, would have come along and done it in the same sort of time it took for him to come along and do the manual generator it's the same operate uh, command uh, and they had the same priority so he would have eventually come around and done so uh, we're now making look at that there goes the ethanol coming out at 70 degrees that's pretty hot 70 degrees uh, but the uh, the polluted water coming down uh, you know what? I didn't think about the power down the bottom here that's fine we could probably set that up right here if I uh, we, it's like we're, we're now solidly making power. Ah, I know something else I haven't remembered is to put down an automation signal. How much? I do have enough to get going from here across and down. I wonder whether the bridge would have been cheaper? Yeah, actually, br bridges are cheaper, like, just full stop. I should just be using bridges, but I, I'm not going to be doing that. that. That sounds horrific. Okay, with the transformer up and running. Okay, that's interesting. That's not quite where I expected that to go. Let's cut this off here. Uh, the next bout of power that should get used, uh, unfortunately, is not going to happen for a little while because we're now at the threshold where the battery uh, is self-sustaining. Can we bring this up higher? Yeah, and then we can make the water go into there, hopefully. Uh, there, of course, being the, uh, the, the filtration system that we have set up. I'm going to put turn this back down to 25 i feel like 25 is a good number we're t taking power uh from the ethanol and oh we haven't delivered any any sand down here that that's a problem wait, let's wait till morning Okay, the sand has been delivered straight away in the morning. I do like the fact that they think that is uh, very important. Not enough polluted water, maybe? I'm not sure why it's not instantly uh, instantly cleaning that out. I was totally hoping that would... Let's, let's just run the generator for a second. It's going to just keep running and keep producing water for me. Because that, that's all I want. I just want water to go into this system. Maybe we can consume some ethanol at the same time. Uh, just enough to get this guy to turn over at least once. What do we reckon? Five kilos? Indeed, five kilos is the number we needed to be looking for. And out comes some water. I'm going to keep it pumping around uh, just a little bit longer. Because having a little bit of backlog of water is never a bad thing but the question that we need to know now is is it enough to start cleaning up all the carbon dioxide around here i don't know we're going to be producing lots we're going to be producing a serious amount of carbon dioxide so now that we've turned this off uh, i would like to split this pipe here and move this one up so that we're feeding the arbor acorn let's copy the setting and ask for it to be placed there because the moment we get a an acorn from any of these trees uh, the uh, pips will find it and uh, we get to pump uh, get to plant a new one which will then be fed via the magic of this system oh look it, it's going around and cleaning up quite nicely uh, all the carbon dioxide here consuming power as it does so but not enough to trigger the petroleum generator okay this is good this is good we should should have a self-sustaining system at this point and i think with that i'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you guys next time uh, where i mentioned something about sulfur a long time ago i, I think we need to go and take over uh, that sulfur let's uh oh oh wait what's going on here why why isn't this being built this really should not be allowed to be like this uh let's be zero okay so someone come along we, we're gonna get we're gonna get some scolding going on here 63 degree uh occasionally this happens where it just continues to tell me that they can't reach the uh the tile uh but yeah i was uh saying that we're gonna try and figure out how to tame the liquid sulfur geyser i hear you just dump it in water and keep the water nice and chill and we we can definitely achieve that but i will see you then oh and we're gonna do that bye